Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the future of Genshin Impact and why Genshin Impact is dying or losing players. Yeah, it's true. It's true, guys, and it's a fact that Genshin Impact is losing players. Not because of other games or any competition. It's just because of Genshin is getting uh save like jinshin having no changes is just getting boring for the peoples and now for the players and now the jinshin is losing players yes so we gotta talk about everything this why jinshin is dying and why jinshin is losing players so stay tuned till the end guys jinshin impact is one of the biggest game of 2020 why this game is launched in september 2020 and over 21 million uh, players registered and only about 80 percent like only about 16 million players downloaded this game and actually played it now this game having 63 or minimum 60 million monthly active user that is insane i don't remember any game gaining this level of active player count monthly that they actually played the game they open the game and they play daily or monthly you can say this game is one of the biggest hit of 2020 2021 and 2022 also this game breaks a loss of records and wins a lots of awards. This game is a beauty. The graphics of this game, the character design, the story, especially the story is super good. The whole fighting style, the whole combat, the abilities and everything is so good. They put their heart into this game. Still, this game now just started losing the players. Not with a very big margin, but yeah, it's just started starting to happen with this year last year this game's december december 2022 this game having a active monthly players count is 65 million but starting with this year 2023 this game started losing active monthly count like some month they are gaining but they are not going beyond 65 million but they are losing some players. That now this game is having in the June month to 63 million, and in the uh, uh, May, in the May last month, this game having uh, active player count of 64 million. Now this month is they are having the 63 million. So they are losing one million. You can say every month. That is bad. But my opinion on this game, that this game is not dying. There is no way that Jenshin gonna die. Jenshin never gonna never gonna die. The whole system of Jenshin, the whole beauty of Jenshin, the combat style, the system of gacha there where you can wish your character, you can get the character, then you will build the character. This game's never gonna die. Yes, people will s s stop playing this game regularly. Like they'll play this game once in a week or maybe twice or thrice in a month. But they they will never gonna stop playing this game because it's very easy to play Genshin Impact. You have to not to do like much ha uh, grinding in this game. Like if you compare this game this game with any other popular RPG or RNG game, this game is super simple the grinding in this game and the, and the effort you will have to put in this game is literally very low if you compare this game to Genshin Impact I know Genshin Impact uh, sorry if we compare this game to Destiny I know Genshin Impact and Destiny they are both different game Destiny is a looter shooter RPG and Genshin is the RNG gacha RNG game but if you compare both of this game in only only basis of grinding destiny having more grind the raids the domains the everything that destiny have this game doesn't like this game the for the grinding purposes this game having world bosses weekly bosses and the domains then there is the exploration these are the only things that you will do for the grinding of the accelerate uh, exploration part is the mandatory for every every user every player you want to you have to do it if you want to get the gems gems is the only motivation <laughs> for the exploration the other grinding part is to build your own character uh, if you have that character then only you will go and kill the bosses just take an example 
the thundering manifestation is a boss in the inzuma it's one of the irritating boss i ever deal with you only kill that boss if you want to build your raid in shogun if you if you don't if you don't want to build your raid in shogun why you uh, go and kill that boss there are many bosses in the game that you only kill those bosses the world bosses if you want to get their material same goes with the domain same goes with the weekly boss and there is also a limitation in one day that you only have 160 resin and 160 resin is the limit for the world boss you need 40 for one one time for the weekly boss you need 30 for one time and for the domains you uh, you will need 20 for the one run so it's very limited like i am the ar60 player i playing i'm playing this game since the launch there is nothing nothing to do in this game once you complete its full story the exploration and you build it your like four to five characters are very good four to five characters you don't really need to play this game daily like you just open the game for 5 to 10 minutes do your commission spend your 160 resin that all you can do in max to max 10 minutes the completion of uh, the completion time of commissions like 5 minutes and then the you'll have to spend if you want to spend your 160 resin that's going to take literally 5 minutes so maximum maximum of 10 minutes gameplay will be left if you complete everything this game brings a uh, 3 to 4 events every season every patch but that events are not that engaging or not that not that time taking you can uh, actually complete all the e- events in one day or two day so you ha- you can pick one day like you want to do it on sunday or saturday so you can complete all your events that day so in terms of gameplay in terms of content this game lags a lot yes still this game have a lot of thing like literally lot of thing but still nothing it still feels like this game has nothing this game i only like one thing in this game i love only one thing in the, in this game that i think a uh, shenxing developer should focus more on is this spiral abyss so spiral abyss is the only uh, thing that is little competitive and hard otherwise everything is, is in this game is very easy they like doing the domain like <laughs> doing the domain and killing the world bosses is the easiest part you can even kill your world bosses and that do the domains with 50 level character or 60 level character the only time taking thing is in this game is the exploration the map is really really uh, large you can see here it's the first uh, region here the monster the smallest one then there is a liue then there is a inazuma the bigger one and then biggest one is the sumeru sumeru is way bigger if you compare to the uh in usuma and there is a more region that's uh and konomia and then there is a shazam so if you uh, com- if you want, want to complete all the exploration ha huh, that's going to take the time you can see here i am a ar60 player still my exploration is not 100 100 you can see the exploration progress here 97% and 97% and sumeru also not complete my only my in usuma is 100 100 here and monster is 100 here the lewis some regions are 100 so the thing is the only the exploration thing is time taking but the exploration is not fun you will get tired you will get bored exploring the you know region after some time like if you completed 70 70% on every region you will get start getting bored because then it is going to is becomes very hard to find chest or uh, challenges on map Okay, talking about the conclusion that what I need them to change in this game. Okay, let's not talk about the f- things that I don't like, the things I like. Simply, the game is super. If you want to play this game in 2023, you can play this game. Game is still worth, and I don't think this game's gonna die uh, by 2025 or 2026. But the thing is, this game will. can will or will some lose some players in the future so these are the things that i want them to change the first thing is the whole resin pattern i don't like the resin pattern like why you only given 160 resin and everything is related to the resin why is give me the 
give me the permission or give me the freedom to you know do the domain as many times and what i want to do in one day why you limiting my grinding to only one sixty resin or only to like why i don't like the resin system at all second thing add more competitive fightings similar to spiral abyss there's a many characters in the game there's a many teams in the game that you can enjoy playing so why we are already fo only focusing on the spiral abyss part which came once in a 15 days twice in a month so why we are already only focusing on the spiral abyss part i want more similar things like spiral abyss the third thing make this game a little hard why you why the world bosses and the domains are very easy like do make some longer domains where we have to travel like a raids not a raid but something similar to dungeon or a raid that other games having something like that i don't want this easy domains or a world bosses where i just entered kill them in one minute and just leave it no add something more engaging and competitive but fourth thing just try to think about a fun events not something which will a kid enjoy a 16 year old or 15 year old boy or girl enjoy please give us a really good events where we can fight and explore and be more engaging i don't want to puzzle or build anything i don't want to solve puzzle in this game i, I don't want to jump over rocks to collect some coins and that's so boring why you are giving events like this i'm, I'm not a kid and your your game is not made for the kids and kids are not spending money on your games i want more engaging things in the game i want more fight i build my character spending one month in this game and maybe some money i want to play with my character i want to smash some asses with my character so please focus on these things the resin thing the grinding things the competitive the you know difficulty of this game and you know just release more end game contents like spiral abyss spiral abyss is not enough i really want them to uh, you know just fo uh, focus on the grinding part of this game to make more you know more fun like exploring and doing the domain is not that fun like i literally uh you know need 30 to 40 second to complete domain one run domain like 30 second i just get it start the uh, starting the domain and after 30 40 second i just completed that domain i have i done this uh, like uh, on the repeat like i have done three times and that's it that's it for the day that's it for the day Opening the Jenshin Impact, doing the commissions, doing, uh, uh, spending your 160 resin, which literally takes 10 minutes, and that's it for the day. Now what? What I wanna, you know, what is this? No, no, nothing to do in this game. There's no fun. There is nothing. But the boring part starts when you max out the game. Like when you max out the game and you reach year 60. Then, then this game started. Uh, you know irritating you and you'll get bored playing Jinxing impact that's the reality and that's the fact of this game but you spend your energy you spend your time maybe money in this game so that's why you don't want to leave this game that's why i said Jinxing's game never gonna die because the og players the veteran players the old players they invested their time they invested maybe they invested their money by some battle pass or the vulcan and so they don't wanna uninstall or get over with the Jinxing impact. They they're like, ah, they literally I need to play only 10 minutes a daily so I can do that. So why leave Jinxing impact when they you know introduces new region? I'll come and I play and complete and then you know take a break. So these because all of these reasons that like you need only 10 minutes for 15 minutes daily to play this game so no one's want to leave this game because it's a still it's a very beautiful game this game has my favorite characters their favorite character design Fav, uh, beautiful story so that's why i don't want to leave this game and many also don't want to leave this game because this game is literally very beautiful and also now uh, oh. miyoyo introduces uh, miyoyo announces the uh, anime of this game is gonna come end of this year so yeah why would i leave this game i just uh, i just want to know your thoughts about this game guys 
if you like it or you get you'll get you know exhausted with this game but still this game is started losing players and the new game the competition is also coming the withering waves the withering wave is looking super insane so let's see when the withering wave drops this game's actually you know lose a loss of players or players gonna still stick with the genshin impact but in my opinion this game's never gonna die because this game's how this game's work is so simple and why would every, uh, anyone want to leave a simple or an easy thing you don't literally you don't have to put any extra effort playing this game it's a very chill calm soothing game which you enjoy listening to music or yeah this game is super super calming and soothing game so i don't think this game's ever gonna die tell me what do you think your thoughts in the comments i want to hear your thoughts guys what do you think about this game's dying or not dying and guys if you like the video you can hit the like button and you can correct me in the comment if you said uh, if you think i said something wrong in this video you can definitely correct correct me in the comment guys guys share this video with a friend and we'll meet in the next video guys till then bye bye take care